Yep, we did it. We had one of those uh, you only live once moments and decided to get our first RV. It is a Winnebago Micro Mini 1706 FP and today we are going to pick it up. Our luggage is ready. All the stuff we think we are going to need for our maiden voyage. Yes, we are going to pick up our brand new travel trailer. We are driving across Florida, east to west on the Alligator Alley, which is a section of I-75. And here we are, arriving near Fort Myers at La Mesa RV, where we are going to pick up our brand new travel trailer. <laughs> so exciting. New car smell. <laughs> When you press these buttons, do so with the flat of your finger. We get a lengthy orientation of all the RV systems that I won't bore you with right now. My vehicle and the RV must go through some upgrades for safer towing, most importantly a weight distribution system that I must learn how to assemble and disassemble. So now I'm coming down. We'll fall out of here. There is also an anti-sway bar that needs to be attached. Tighten this up. That's pretty tight right there. Now back it off a quarter turn. Eventually I also got a $300 electric jack after seeing this guy do all the muscle work up and down and then I had to do it myself. Hey, one less thing, right? Yes, we are ready to go. As ready as we're going to be. Where well, we have finally picked up the RV, I'm uh, pulling into the interstate here and it handles pretty well. We'll see uh, how it goes when I get to the campground. As you can see, I cannot sit anything to the back, but we'll manage. We have decided to stay at the Corrician Historic Site, which is a beautiful Florida State Park. And as soon as we finish on hooking, a torrential rain starts to fall. <laughs> Nothing to worry about though, this is normal. It is a summer afternoon in Florida. No worries, it will stop. As soon as the rain stops, we decide to walk a little bit on this nature trail right next to our site. It is really quite agreeable with the Estero River right next to us. It starts sprinkling again, so we go back to the RV and take the car for a spin to the local dive bar. Wicked wings and things. The place is full of friendly locals, as it is karaoke night. By the way, the hot wings are superb. Good morning, happy campers around the world, coming to you from the beautiful Croatian State Park in Estero, Florida. Today we are going to explore the area a little bit, but first, let's take that nature trail again. It is a beautiful morning. The Estero River flat like a mirror. Listen to all the sounds of the forest in the morning. This is such an idyllic place. Too bad we didn't come prepared with our water shoes or bathing suits next time, for sure. We continue walking on the nature trail towards the historic site that gives this park its name. 
It all started with this guy Cyrus Reed did back in 1894. He came with his followers to Estero to build New Jerusalem for his new faith called Christianity, which believed the world was hollow. <laughs> anyway, they imported trees from different parts of the world, and the colony, which practiced a sort of communal life, was known as the Christian Unity. But it began to fade after Tid's uh, death in 1908, totally ceasing to exist by 1961. Some of the buildings remain, such as this, the Planetary Court, which housed seven women who governed the commune. Although there is no guided tour available today, we can take a peek through the glass windows at this time capsule of sorts, if you will. We also entered the Founder's home, which also had a schoolroom for the children. Founder's house. Here's a detailed model of the property, our RV site on the upper right corner. We also check out the bakery building and the typical cottage. Probably one of the last people to leave because they had a TV. And this is supposed to be the laundry, I think. Well, they have machines. This doesn't look like a laundry. Whatever it is, it looks cool. Okay, we're tired of walking and it's too hot, so let's hit the road. We are on our way to Fort Myers Beach, sans the trailer, of course, along this row of oceanfront mansions. We want to check out this RV park called the Red Coconut, where you can park your rig right on the sand. For a price, of course. And here we are. I think it's going to be a pretty unique experience. Row 1 is uh, booked solid for the year, but we are able to book a site on Row 2 for a weekend next month. Really looking forward to that. As a menacing storm lurks on the horizon, we decide to have lunch at this nice place called the Junkaroo on the beach. Well, let's get out of here before it gets really bad, shall we? It is Florida after all. It rains in the summer. In the afternoon, usually. <laughs> in the morning, we return to Miami. This time using the Tamiami Trail, US 41, which is slower, but it is toll free and kind of more straight towards Miami. And we get to stop a couple of times along the way. Well, our mini vacation is uh, nearly over. Here we are by the side of the smallest post office in the United States, right here by the Everglades and the Big Cypress uh, State Park. Um, you know, we haven't come up with a name for our new uh, travel trailer yet. As always, thank you for watching and see you on the road. I'm riding, 
Riding with my RV Wherever I want to be Cause I'm free in my RV